Hi, I'm Donna Miller. I'm going to show you how to make a stencil in Cricut Design Space the easy way. If this is your first time to the channel and you enjoy this video, please consider clicking and subscribing. We're going to start with going to clipartlibrary.com and I just found this shamrock on here. I enjoy this website because it tells you what license your image is so that you know that this one is for personal use. Just right click on the image and save your file. On the bottom of the screen I'm going to click upload and then I'm going to click browse on here. I'm going to find the image that I had saved and then I'm going to click complex on here and then hit continue. And this was a PNG file so the background was already deleted in there. So there's nothing more that needs done. So hit continue on here. And then be sure to give yourself some good names and tags for your image so that it will be easier for you to locate your image later on. So now I'm going to click on my image and go to insert image and that will get my image to pop up in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to go up to the top and you see that slash through there means that it's on a print and cut and I don't want it to be a print and cut so just click on cut again and that turns it to a regular cut file. Go to the left there and click on shapes and bring in a rectangle or square and I'm going to make this be about six by six. I find that that's a really good size for the background of your squares. And then I'm just going to click on the square and click arrange and send that to the back so that my shamrock is on the top. I'm going to resize my shamrock and then I'm going to click over there onto the panels and I'm going to duplicate this so that I have a bunch of different shamrocks and I'm just going to rearrange them and the background in the way that I like them the best. And then I like to just resize the shamrocks so that I get a variety of a background and I'm just going to repeat this process of duplicating them until my background is completely filled. So now what you could do is you can click on an individual shamrock, click on your background, go to the bottom and hit the slice button and that will slice out one individual shamrock. And then you can click on your background, click arrange at the top and send it to the back and click on another shamrock and then click on your background again and hit the slice button again. This is the most inefficient way of doing this. It does work, but it's going to take you about a half hour and I'm going to show you a much better and quicker way of doing this. So if you click and drag over top of all of your shamrocks, go to the top of your layers panel and click the group button, that's going to group all of your shamrocks together. However, if you look at your layers, you still have a bunch of layers and the bottom the slice is all whited out so you can't use that method. So what you want to do is go to the bottom and you want to use the weld button and that will weld all of your shamrocks together so if you look at your layers panel now you only have two layers. So now you want to click and drag over both of your images Go to the top where it says align and then you want to go down to the one that says center so that you have this centered together. And then you want to go to the bottom layers panel and the weld button will be highlighted and you can click on the weld button and that will create your stencil. So you can click and drag off the two top layers and you really don't need those two layers anymore. So now you can just delete that layer and then click off your other layer and you can delete the second layer also. So you want to go up to make it now and then you want to move your image on the mat wherever you want it to be where you have your material in place. Hit the continue button. Then when it says set materials, you want to browse all of your materials on the side there. And then on the drop down menu, you want to go down and find the one that says plastic. So you just need to scroll down until you can find the plastic setting. 
then you want to click on stencil film and that's the setting that you're going to want to use. So for my stenciling, I use a plastic that is used for quilting that I buy from Hobby Lobby. It costs about a dollar or two for it and I just make sure that I cut this twice when I go to cut this out and it cuts perfectly every single time as long as you cut it through twice. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you can create your own stencils now in the future. If you like this video, please click share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything. Mm -hmm.